Alright guys, I'm playing World Robots on Steam Deck. I'm using Ultimate Performance. I am using something for my resolution. I'm using DS4 Windows, which is an emulator. The emulating, uh, emulation thing is for this. I'm using a PS5 DualSense controller to play the games. I mean, you can use DSX, uh, the one from Steam. You can use that as well if you want to. You don't need to use uh, third-party um, emulators. The, I, the emulators are used for mapping. Sorry, I'm just looking at this uh, chest thing. Right, so basically, I'm using a neither a mouse, uh, three anglers in this game. I have to get double kills, guys. With this neither, I got two Spark MK2s. Spark is an energy weapon, it's very good for a robot's energy shields. You know, you break down the shield, you kill the robot. I've got two claws. Claws are heat second missiles, but the advantage of these claws is they actually uh, attack, or can I say, when you fire them, they they can go over obstacles. Um, so let's say the robot you're attacking was behind cover, right? And let's say if you use normal rockets, you wouldn't be able to attack you see, like what he's got, he's got those all cans, right? So the all cans can only fire in straight direction, isn't it? Like directly towards wherever you're firing them at, right? But because I've got all cans, my all cans can go over obstacles. So that's the difference. So the all can will fire directly at wherever you're pointing at. But what if there's an obstacle? If there's an obstacle, the all cans will just hit that obstacle. They will not hit your target. So that's the difference. That's why I said the all cans are like direct fire and the, um, the claws are more like um, anything that's taking cover basically will get hit. So that's the advantage of the, oh my God. I think I'm getting attacked by too many of these robots. Oh, that's a shell. I don't want to get hit by the shell. Ah, damn, too late. <laughs> it was too late. I don't, I don't know if, if it was that I used my ability and then I thought I could just uh, run, uh, move away from it. Neither gets five boosts. I don't know what you call them. Like, um, I don't know what they're called. Those, those boost things. This is a good robot, that Imugu. But once he lands, just like the, <laughs> the lightning robot, once he lands, that's it. Easy target, you know. So if you want to attack an Imigo, the best thing to do with Imigo is just wait for him, wait for it to land, and then you destroy it. If you're using a mouse robot, the best way to use a mouse robot is leave. Oh my God, that's a Titan. Now this is the Titan with fire on it. Ah, damn. I mean, that's kid, uh, the one with fire. The best thing to do if you're using a, um, I'm trying to think of what I was trying to say.
Oh, that, that's a Hemingdale. Hemingdale's good as well. But Hemingdale's only good um, when, when you're able to heal yourself. If you make a mistake, like in the game, and think, I'll just use a cannon, you know, I'll just use a cannon for a few seconds. Because remember, when you're using the cannon, you can't heal yourself. That's, that's where the problem comes in with that. Oh my God. I didn't realize that's a shell. <laughs> I didn't realize that's a shell, but I'm going to destroy it now. He wanted to use his ability against me. There you go. You see, that's why he's getting close. <laughs> he's getting close because he wants to use his ability. <laughs> that's why I'm running away. Oh my god, I got lucky. No, because every time he uses that ability of his, it's like Arthur. Arthur's got the same ability, you know? I mean, that uh, shell shock thing ability that it's got, it, can, it causes... Oh my god, what's this thing? Is that... Okay, that's a Ravana. I thought it was a shell. Tired of these shells. This Ravana used to be a good robot when it first came out. But I mean, look at it now. Uh, Ravana's got um, stealth. It can go into stealth, I think, three times. But in order for it to go into stealth three times, you need the correct pilot. So Ravana is more based on the pilot that you've got. Right, so I'm going to use my ability and try and hit this guy as hard as possible. Hopefully, I, yeah, I take him out. I do not like that Titan at all. I don't know what it's called. I, I used to have that Titan. Don't have it anymore. I, it's not a bad Titan to have, guys. I mean, it. I think it probably depends on the weapons you've got but my honest opinion is i would stay away from that titan the titans to get okay fine if you're old school and you still want to get the old school titans the best titans to get i think is the um, the arthur titan arthur's very good titan to get arthur and um Trying to think of the other one. Damn. I want to hit him before he gets his um, turret back, his um, remote assault, because once he gets that, it'll be a problem. Oh my god, oh my god, ah, I lost my Titan. No, because he'll drop it in front of you, then it's a problem. You see, it's like remote assault. Same thing like what Mars does. So the Titan itself is not that good, but it's remote assault causes a lot of damage. And it does fire the same weapon uh, that you fire from your uh, spaceship. Uh, sorry, from your Titan. The Titan itself is not that good, but the remote assault does cause damage. Righty, right. So I want to see how many double kills I got this time. The games that I, the game I'm playing the most these days, um, the game I'm playing the most these days would be Modern Warfare 2. It's just fun, man. It's um, if you've ever played, listen, if you've ever played Call of Duty Mobile on your phone, if you play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone, then there's no difference with uh, Modern Warfare 2 on your Steam Deck. It's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing because I was playing it yesterday and I was comparing it, you know, like I played mobile and then I play Modern Warfare 2 and I'm like, this game is exactly the same. It's just that one's on, on your Steam Deck, on PC and the other one is on your mobile. So which one, which one would I prefer? Um, to be honest, I, I do prefer both of them, the mobile one and the Call of Duty. The mobile one is good. And the Call of Duty one is good as well. I don't think any of them is bad.
they are both good guys. But um, my my honest opinion is, if listen, if you do play, if you do play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone already, okay, this is this is what I'm gonna say. If you're already playing it on your phone, then there's oh my god, oh damn, I'm gonna lose my robot now. Ah, you see. Those are prismas. If you're wondering what got me, that's a prisma weapon. I made a mistake anyway. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have gone in the middle. I don't know why I moved downwards. I should have gone forward. If I'd gone forward, I could have de uh, destroyed that robot. But I'm, I'm just saying it's a lack of thinking. But anyway, uh, like, like what I'm saying is if you play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone, and you enjoy Call of Duty Mobile that you're playing on your phone, then when you buy, when you do purchase, oh God, that guy's got those need, needle things, you see? Are those needles? Oh, you see? He's got those needle things. Right, if, if, if you do play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone already, right, you understand what I'm saying? If you play Call of Duty Mobile on your phone already, then there's, there's not gonna be much of a difference with Modern Warfare 2 on Steam Deck. It's exactly, it's the same game. I, I don't know even know how to describe it. It's the same exact game, it's the same thing. The same game you play on your phone and you play Modern Warfare 2, it's exactly the same thing. Cause I was like, it's gonna be different. You know, I'm gonna, maybe things will be different. Exactly the same thing. Running into the building, coming out of the building, uh, with this one, I'm using Cruel Bane and two of, I think three, no, a spear. I think one of the weapons is a spear. I don't know what the other weapon's called. We're definitely going to lose this game. I just have a, a bad feeling. Now, you, know, you know, you get a bad feeling and I'm like, we're going to lose this game. <laughs> no, look. Look how many beacons I've got. They've got all the beacons except one. You know, you can just tell. They were going to lose this match. And you know, the, the biggest result of it all is, is the, um, the robot they used the first time. The, the um, thingy, the Erebus. I, I know that's an Erebus with Prismas. The amount of damage he has done already is what is the end result of our, all the robots left. Yeah, it's the end result of the robots left. The Bane, you see the Bane does a lot of damage. I need to get close to him. But those prisoner weapons are going to get me anyway. I mean, I can't do much damage now. You see? He's using those spear things, those uh, weapons, spear weapons. I've got, I've got, I've got, um, I've got a Skyros and I've got all those weapons. I have all those weapons, but, um, I don't know. I mean, now it's a bit too late to be talking about. I mean, I've got all those weapons, but I still don't like Skyros. I don't like the robot itself. No, what I'm saying is the person using the Erebus has caused on our, on our side a lot of damage. He's destroyed a lot of robots. You see that? That's a Prisma. And look at what it's doing to my robot. Look at that. Gone. Melted through it like butter. Yeah, like butter. That was like butter. I mean, what, what else? What else are we supposed to do in this match now? So we just might as well just fight with robots because you see, <laughs> the match is over. <laughs> it was done deal. You see what I mean? So that's why I'm saying uh, the Prismas, I was talking about this last time, the Prismas are very good, very good weapon. Right, I'm gonna try and complete this task. If I can't complete it now, I'll have to do it later because sometimes I notice like the best players, they do come out late, you know? I mean, they come out later on, isn't it? Right, I, I want to change something on this. Uh, I do like the weapons I'm using. But I want to change this thing, like this spear thing. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the spear, the, the one I've got, this one. I don't think it's that good, you know? You know, you know one thing. You can still buy weapons here. I think this goes up to the sting. The sting is good dot damage thing but i i don't want this thing i want this one uh the gecko this gecko thing i know a lot of people like geckos old that that's a laser weapon as well 
I think that's what that guy was using on us on on my team. I like the snare, but I do want to change this for the gecko as well. And the gecko is this this is a laser weapon. It does damage at one thousand one hundred meters. I know what you're thinking. Why are you getting for all your robots? Well, basically, I I do think it's good to have. Now I'm using Spark already on these, but I just want to do a small test. It's just a small test. I want to put give him geckos instead of the spark. The spark are causing a lot of damage, but I just want to. It's just a test. I just want to see uh, what I can do with these geckos instead. I do like the app. These these ones as well. Those rocket things that they were they fire all the missiles at the same time at the target. I think those came before the Orkant, right? So these have this angler's got already got laser weapons so i don't want to swap the weapons for anything else i'm gonna leave them i could have given him geckos as well if i give him geckos you'll just you know one thing i want to do just as a test just as a test i mean i was not going to do this beforehand but as a test i'm just going to swap all of those uh for geckos now i know what you're thinking why why do that well think of it this way I've got other robots on on my um, uh, that I don't use anymore. Well, I used to use other robots, but let's say I just stopped using them. So when I do return the original weapons back to robots, I can give those robots that I used to use these weapons. So it's not a it's not a complete waste. But for me, it's just a test. I want to test this. Out. I want to see what happens because that's what that. That's what that guy was using. He was using either he was using um, the Prismas, which is a laser weapon, 1,100 meter damage. That's how far they can fire and cause damage. Or they were using geckos. So I want to give it a go and see what, how much damage I do with these. You see, it's just a test. But I know I'm gonna cause. I'm gonna force a lot of people to back off. But I want to see what happens. I just don't. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my robot as yet. Not right now. You see? Look at that. Look! Look! Look at the damage I'm causing to his shield, to his armor. Not even forget. Forget about his um his shield. But look at him. Look! Look how much damage he's suffering. Did you see that? I caused so much damage that he had to hide. Look at that. He's hiding. Why is he hiding? This is an old weapon. <laughs> Look at that. He's, he's dead now. He's gone. What did I say? 1,100 meters. That's what I was like. I was wondering, what laser, what weapon is this guy using? Because definitely, I, I, I do know the new weapons and the old ones. Look at the damage I'm doing to this guy. And this is not a new weapon, you know? This is old. It's like a it's like a gold golden oldies type of weapon. He's firing at me from my back. Oh my god. Oh I'm gonna lose my robot. I mean there was nothing I could do. I couldn't stop that from happening. So I'm gonna use a mask and three lockdown weapons or fainters. Right, three lockdown weapons. Uh, the lockdown weapons just means when I when I hit the robot, it can't move. So if you understand, that's why I call them lockdown weapons. When you get hit by these fainters, you just you can't move at that time. See. Uh, this guy is causing damage. I mean, there's there's nothing I could do there. I was getting targeted by too many robots. Right, with this one, I know I've got the two new weapons. I don't know what they're called. The, they start with a K, Caution or something. And then a Cruel Bane and a Gecko. The reason why I removed the spears, because to me, I feel like spears don't do enough damage. 
Look at what that laser is doing. Look at the gecko. It's hitting straight through the armor, causing a lot of damage to the armor. See? But the problem with the gecko, I think, is you need to kind of allow it to power up, kind of. Oh, damn. Let me use my ability of this guy. Ah, I knew he was going to jump. Right. I don't, yeah, I've lost my robot. There's nothing I could do. It's hard to fight a titan. And look how many titans there are. There's like two of them. It's two titans. The one that's flying is a weak titan that I can destroy easily. It's that one that's flying that's the problem. So I'm going to go in front of him like this. Oh, he's using Dazzler, Dazzle thing. He's got a Dazzle as well. He's got what I've got. So I'm, I'm hiding. Thank God. That was so beneficial. <laughs> I'm going to hide again. So I'm going to attack him if I can. And I'm getting attacked from the side. Come on. Yes, good. I'm going to use my Orient Mothership on this dude. He's gone. That's three robots. Then go for this one. That's a happy. Destroy the happy. I don't know what robot this is. Which one is this one? It's a happy. No, no, this is Origin. I don't know how to say the names, guys. It's the, um, it's the one that carries two heavy weapons. Uh, carries two heavy weapons. And, um, oh, that's an other Titan. I need to help this dude. That thing is hard to kill. Um... It flies, it can carry two heavy weapons. Oh my god, I didn't get the kill. Pity. Come on, man. Why are you always targeting the wrong thing? Oh, that's 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 a kid titan. Oh my god. It's a kid titan. I don't know what he's using, though. He's running away, though. Well, I mean, he's not running away. Obviously, he can't fight three. He can't fight three titans. I couldn't even. I couldn't fight three titans. You know. What I'm saying is, he's using his his his, his brain. He, he knows he can't fight three titans. It's it's hard. Especially with the kind of weapons we're using. You see what I mean? He's just doing the clever thing. He's not running. Or hiding, he's, he was going to get the beacon, so obviously he's doing what he's supposed to do. I'm gonna use my Orient Mothership on that Titan. He's flown in the air to avoid it, and pow, that's three Titans less. <laughs> Who's the other dude? Oh, it's over there. Is someone going to get that beacon? I, I can't tell. Okay, someone's going to get that one. Um, I can't tell with this dude. It's too far away. I can't attack him. Um, I think one of those is a harpy. I'm not sure what that one is. How you can tell with the harpies is uh, the projector. If it's fire, like it's red. Uh, siren is blue because of the cold thingy. Like I said, these Everos do a lot of damage. The, the reason why I like the Dazzle, I've tried all the other weapons, right, for Titans. I, I, I've not found anything... That's like Dazzle. I mean, Dazzle does so much damage in so much limited amount of time. You know? You understand what I mean? It's like a shotgun, but it's got those bubble things flying out of it. That's why I like uh, Evero. I don't know what this get I breeze uh, thing is. It says complete the task and win ultimate in, in invader. Twenty three days. I wish I wish to just tell you what task that is. Because now you know <laughs> the problem is I have to go to YouTube and find out what that is because I obviously I obviously do not know what that is. Um, 
right so it's not giving me anything else to do guys uh i think what i'm gonna do basically is play a bit of modern combat i mean uh <laughs> i keep forgetting the name call of duty the reason why i like call of duty is because like i said if you played if you've played call of duty mobile listen to what i'm saying if you played call of duty mobile before then there's no difference with uh, modern warfare I'm not talking about the war zone, the war zone thing. I'm talking about the team deathmatch. The team deathmatch are the same. If you play Call of Duty Mobile and you play Modern Warfare 2 and you play the team deathmatches, you will know exactly what I'm saying. It's, it feels like you're at home. I didn't feel any different. It's just like, wow, this is the same game. It's a bit boring on the, on the Steam Deck, I mean on the PC. I mean, in total, on the PC version, I didn't like the PC version that much. I actually prefer it on the mobile, because on the mobile, you've got slightly more control on what you're doing. Right, so, I've finished everything on this. I'll just play another game. I mean, for the hell of it, I mean, there's nothing else that I'm doing. But like, like what I said, if you guys have played, if you've played uh, Call of Duty Mobile and you play Modern Warfare, I mean the team deathmatch is not the war zone, you, you, will, you will understand what I mean by like you feel at home. Because when I was playing the war zone, I never liked war zone. I used to say, oh my god, what's hitting me? Oh, that guy with the prismas again. No, no, no. I can't lose my robot this time. You see what he's done? I don't know what that... What's that thing? Is that a happy? Look at that. Look, look at what this guy is doing. He's using prismas. Look at the robot he's using. <laughs> look at the robot he's using. Those, that really old robot. You know how many prismas I've got? I've got like three prismas. It's a neat, it's a very nice, um, look, look at the damage I'm doing to this guy. You know how old the geckos are? I'll tell you how old the geckos are. Before um, um, this um, War Robots got the remastered, before the remastered version came out, that's how geckos, that's how old geckos are. The geckos are the weapons I put on this, the laser weapons. These, these are the old old weapons but that's how old the geckos are so if you remember before the remastered came out when we we're still playing uh war robots and everything looked kind of faded you know So that's how old um, geckos are. All these fancy graphics when the when war robots are still looking pale, you couldn't choose a setting, a graphic setting on it. You just basically be playing it on your mobile phone. The way it looked, like everyone was playing the same thing, but now some people are playing this on minimum. Or the maximum, you know. Back, back, back in the day, you couldn't choose a setting. That's what I'm trying to say. There was no setting, basic setting for this game. Look at the damage I'm doing with Gecko. You see what I mean? Cause so much damage to that dude. I caused so much damage. <laughs> He probably didn't know what was going on until he re realized that he was getting attacked. Oh my god, lost my robot. Can I bring my Titan in? Man, this sucks. I'm like, why?
right so i'm using my invisibility going after this robot on the top this guy's attacking me with those little weapon things the best titans to get now if you didn't have money uh arthur that that titan there the one behind me arthur is a very good titan but my robot's going down any second. You see? I knew it was going to go down. Arthur is very good. Kid is very good. Though. The first, the, the Titan you get the first time when you hit uh, level 30. That's a very good Titan. The one with fire. And why do I say it's good? Because the fire kills. And if you level up your, your Titan enough, like above 50, uh, you give your Titan more health. So you could be playing with a very old titan, but your titan's quite leveled up. And obviously that means you can cause more damage. I don't know what this guy is using. Is that a, a, a mask? Oh, it's an old robot. It's like, what's this guy using? I couldn't tell. I have to avoid these people attacking me and stuff. I mean, it, that's why I said, oh my, oh wow. I got taken out. Um, if you want to play, listen, I'm not saying that you shouldn't play or you should play, um, Call of Duty. I'm just saying, if you're someone like me and, you know, you, you've, like, I don't know, like, you want to play Call of Duty, but you want to play it on a PC, then you can't go wrong with, um, with Modern Warfare 2. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's, it's the same game. I was telling someone yesterday about it. Like, oh, you know, I play this game. Yeah, they, you know, it's exactly the same game. And they were like, yeah, it is. The, um, because people didn't get me straight. You know, they thought I was thinking about Warzone. No. Not talking about the Warzone. I'm talking about the proper game, the real game, the game itself. If you play Call of Duty Mobile, like right now, and you play a lot of it, that like it's your favorite game, then when you buy Modern Warfare 2 on Steam, and you download it on your Steam Deck, as long as you're running Windows on Steam Deck like I am, you can play Modern Warfare 2. Very, very good game. It becomes addictive because after a while I just I just left it and I was like I'll come back and play it later. I'm just saying it's addictive. You, you you play it, you put it down, you go and do something else, you come back, you're doing the same thing, playing the game again. It doesn't get boring, that's what I'm trying to say. It's quite addictive. So I'll be playing Modern Warfare 2. I know they've got the same picture like Modern Warfare 3, but this is not 3, this is 2. 